Uh, my name is Matt Patterson, and I'm a graduate from the Tom Savini Special Effects Makeup Program and also the George Romero Film Program. As a kid, I was terrified of this stuff. Um, horror movies scared me. I grew up with a grandmother who thought we could watch everything. So uh, I had some exposure to horror films as a kid, and I really didn't like them. It wasn't until I got a little bit older, and then I wanted to figure out why I didn't like it, that I fell in love with horror films. When I was in the military, um, I remember reading Fangoria's and seeing the ads, right? And um, I come up and met with the folks over in Emissions and Tony and was instantly hooked. I was like, yes, I'm doing this. They were an open resource where you can go to them and be like, hey, I got hired to do this project. This is how I'm thinking about doing it. W what do you think? How would you approach that? And like, they'll help you around those pitfalls. I still will call them to this day and be like, hey, I'm doing this thing and this is how I'm thinking about it. And they're like, oh yeah, I would do it that way or no, I would do it this way. Um, and that's all the instructors. That I haven't had an instructor here that was not willing to offer that help. And they want to, they, they want students to engage them. Like, I think that makes it worth it for them too, because they're able to pass their knowledge on. If you can make custom prosthetics, you know, it's really awesome, you know? And like the industry has gone to like silicone and like they do a lot of transfer stuff, but for like big monsters, foam latex to me is the way to go because it's so light. And then honestly, just basic beauty foundation. You know, I'm a monster guy. You would never guess that I can go and do a beauty makeup on a bride for her wedding. I mean, I learned those skill sets here. You know, I never had that in my bag. And that's useful too. I've, I've landed movie gigs being the effects guy because I can do a beauty makeup and they only need one beauty makeup for the whole movie. And I'll be like, oh, I'll do that beauty makeup. And it saves the production. So it's made me more versatile. Learn the fundamentals. Learn how to cast a mask. Learn how to make a mold. Learn how to run foam. Learn how to do seam work. If you can make yourself more adverse in those areas, it's going to help you land work. You know, take that time that you're here very serious. Um, it's not very often you have such a knowledge or wealth of knowledge in one place to be able to draw from. Work right now in the film industry as a whole. It's tough, but it's out there, right? Just keep your head up and keep looking for those opportunities. Um, diversify, there's other things that you can do. Go to children museums. They need, they need to affect ours too. You know, um, film industry is one of our, our things, but there's so many other lanes that you can get into. Like even going and working at a dental lab because of eyes and teeth, like that knowledge that you'll gain there will find you other employment. I was like, this is the school for me because it's hands-on. I can read books until I'm blue in the face and not absorb it, but having a professional who works in the industry go, here, let me show you something real quick. This is the technique, this is how you do it. And that will instantly click with me. And I'll go, ah, okay, I understand that. I could have read that from a book and never understood it. But that hands-on and that one-on-one -on -one attention and them caring to want you to know it. You know, they, they're not gonna leave your side until like, you're like, oh, okay, I get this, I understand. If you want the knowledge, they're gonna give it to you. And like, that was really important to me. You know, um, it's not a huge, huge campus here. If I needed anything, I could go to those places and I knew I was gonna be taken care of. I knew I had the support that I needed. If I was having an issue in the class, I could go down to education. Like, hey, listen, I'm not quite understanding this. Can I get it to, can someone help me with that? and everybody cared and wanted to make sure that I was successful. Like everybody was invested in my success. I worked on a couple of movies. Um, we went to the sets and we shadowed and it just so happened that uh, I met like the makeup department and I met um, like uh, the assistant director and I knew one of the line producers, he was actually an instructor and they needed a makeup artist one night then they needed someone to come in and do some tattoo cover up. And they called me and was like, Hey, do you want a paid gig? You were on set and did great. And we need someone to come in with your specific skill sets to cover up a tattoo. And I was like, yeah, sure. You know, so it led to paid work all because I represented myself well when we were there on the visit. And that was an opportunity afforded us by Bob. Um, you know, and like, uh, Tom Savini, I've had the opportunity to go and work, um, on some stuff with his business partner, Jason Baker, 
and have gained some really good knowledge and like had such good experience with that and really helped me up my game working in that side of the effects world. I recently, after graduation, while I was here, I was working on it um, and I knew I was going to launch my own custom uh, fabrication company for characters and it's CCF, Custom Character Fabrications. And I mainly provide high-end custom characters to the haunt uh, industry, to the professional haunt industry. And uh, I go and I exhibit at one of the world's largest trade shows for the haunted house industry and provide direct connection between characters and haunts that are looking for that. I do um, some art direction stuff in music videos. I do a lot of independent film work with um, special effects. Uh, I do a lot of consulting within uh, the industry too. Uh, I have people that'll call me and be like, hey, we're thinking about doing the shot. How would you do it? And you know, that is a paid gig. Like you get paid for your knowledge. Um, I'm also doing production design, uh, and which is really fun. You get to design a whole world these characters live in. I'm heading in the direction of Angolan, which uh, I am still building my uh, custom character fabrication company, and I've gotten such a great response. I'm starting to book stuff a year in advance. Um, so that's really a focus. And then on the other side of the camera, keep doing the production design stuff. It's really fun. And I still will pick up effects work here and there. Um, the industry, I think that it is evolving every day. Um, I think places where films are being shot gets changed off and how things are being done. But I also believe that uh, the future holds a good marriage between practical and digital. I think we are at the point to where we need both of them and that's how you get the best effect.